Welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we explained how we could model a unit cell of fiber reinforced composite with random distribution of fibers. This also could be assumed as a unit cell of composite with random inclusion of hard materials. In the three previous videos, we explained how to create fiber and how to assign material to them. In this video, we will continue modeling all this problem by applying load to the problem, meshing it and running the problem. In the next step, we enter the part in assembly module and also create static general step for solving this problem. Now we can go to the load module for applying boundary condition. To apply pure tension to the unit cell, we apply symmetry condition to the left and bottom side. In the left side we apply X symmetry and in the bottom similarly we apply Y symmetry. Also, we apply a displacement to the right border. The value of displacement can be anything now and we will change it in our code based on the desired strain. Now we go to the abacus.rpy file and find new lines related to creating assembly, step and loads. Copy these lines and paste them in our code. Here we have assembly part of the code. There are some repeated lines and we delete them. We also delete lines which are started with session. The first line put the assembly in A parameter and the second and third line enter an instance to the assembly which is independent. Then we have lines related to a step and after that we start the load module. In the load module we have three distinct parts applying boundary condition to the left side which left side is picked by this line and we separate this part as X symmetry we should use find at another time to pick the left border instead of this line we use these lines which pick the left border. For picking the left border, we should enter a point at the center of this edge. We change the name from faces to edge and enter the center point of the left border here. We use dimension of the unit cell which was W comp and H comp. The point 0 H comp divided by 2 and 0 is the center of the left border. Then we extract the index of this H and from all of the H we find the edge with this index. Instead of this line, we pick the edge by the find that command and with the name left set. Applying boundary condition to the left side is complete. Another time we copy the 
find that command for picking the bottom side of the unit saw. Here the center point is W comp divided by 2, 0 and 0 and then the similar line are used here and we change the name of the set to set bottom for the last border which is the move set we also use the find that command Also, we deal with some repeated line. In this case, the position of the center of the border is W comp and H divided by 2. And also, we change the name to set right. We can enter the displacement of the right border based on the strain and the weights of the unit cell. We have three parts in our load module, X sim and Y sim and move. And also we should modify this name. And also in three find that commands we should modify the F to E1. E1 means all the edges of the part. Now our code is complete and completely apply boundary condition to the model. We can check it by running the script in the Abacus environment. Here is the part and the properties assigned to all the faces and in load module we can see that loading condition is correct now we continue with meshing the part we apply mesh control to the whole part we prefer to use quadrilateral meshes instead of triangular meshes and also we apply element type by standard and plane stress and linear elements Then we set the part with appropriate mesh size. We can also change the mesh size in our Python code. After setting the part, we mesh all the parts. Then we create a job in job module. And now we can go to the abacus.rpy file and copy new lines related to meshing the part and creating a job and use them in our code I copy the lines here and edit them to how I need program here we substitute this line by get by bounding box command to pick all the faces and mesh them. In this command, we should enter the limits of a box that includes all the faces. And also we copy these commands here for picking all the faces and applying element type control to them. And also we delete this line. This was repeated. And we can Use parameters for size of the mesh here. We have only a mistake in writing the get by bounding box. The B should be capital. And also one of the parentheses is redundant.
Before running the script for the last time, I increased the size of the unit cell and also its volume fraction. Now we run it another time. We can see that making this RVE by hand was a really time consuming task and scripting save our time a lot. Now we can check the property also and run the job. Now we can see stress distribution in this unit cell of composite. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of videos. If this series of videos has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in the next videos.